in chemistry 20, often you'd be asked to determine the pH or pOH of a system, or given the hydronium of a system, how could you calculate the hydroxide of a system? And it was quite a long process, there's many steps. In Chem 30, you have a new term called KW. Okay, and this, all this is referring to is the equilibrium constant of water. Okay, well, when water reacts, we can even throw in another one here. If we have water plus water, you get a reaction. It doesn't happen very much, and we know that because it's both neutral at pH and not conductive. But there would be the odd reaction that occurs where you're forming hydronium and hydroxide. And that would heavily favor the reactants. But still an equilibrium system. Um, so what would the equilibrium law look like? Well, it's going to end up, and this is a water constant, so we're going to go Kw equals hydronium times hydroxide, like so. All right, well, not very handy yet, I need a number. At neutral pH, the concentration of hydronium would be 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7 moles per liter, and hydroxide would be the same, because it's neutral, which means the OH must equal the hydronium. Well, if I work that out, that equals 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. Well, what that means is that the product of hydronium and hydroxide will always come out to be 1 times 10 to the negative 14. So if I know one of them, so let's say as an example, I knew that the hydroxide concentration of a basic solution was 1.0 times 10 to the negative 3 moles per liter. Question is, what's the hydronium concentration? Well, in Chem 20, you would have first turned this into pOH. Then you would have turned that into pH by subtracting from 14. Then you would have used 10 to the negative pH in order to solve for hydronium. Okay, that's a lot of steps. This KW expression allows you to do it in, in, in one step. So if I was to rearrange my KW formula to solve for hydronium, it would simply be KW over OH minus. Filling in my numbers, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14 is what KW always equals. Divide by my hydroxide, which in my example is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 3 moles per liter. That would equate to 1.0 times 10 to the negative 11 moles per liter. Done. Okay. That's a lot easier. The other way it works. Okay. Following these steps works just fine, but it takes a long time. KW is very handy. Another reason KW is handy is because it also equals the Ka times the Kb. So as you note, the Ka's are from your, your acid base table in your data booklet. Well, you don't have Kb's. So if I want to find the Ka, sorry, if I want to find a Kb for a particular base, I need to utilize the Ka in the same fashion. And we'll see examples of that later on.